Oh, no. I know what you reading, bro. Yeah, look. Let me ask you a question. And pay attention. Because this is going to be on the final. This is the quest. That is the questionnaire. And this? Fuck, it's crossover, bro. Check it out. From Image, right? It looks dope. I ain't gotten far into it because we're on this mad-ass quest. Yeah, I am the unknown factor, ladies and gentlemen. That way, Wilson and hip-hop, yeah, and you know if it's that quest, I got my Zalian brother with me, J.D. Day Hardaway. Hey, where's that guy at? What, 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 what do you mean, man? I don't, I don't know who this J.D. Day Hardaway is. But stop, man, fuck. awesome guest named Marco. Stop, look, Let's look, go. look, look, look. No, firstly, firstly, that was a terrible, terrible intro. Cause like Marco's from my home. Wait, okay, Marco's from a town. Well, Marco's from a country that shares the same name as my hometown. I fuck that shit all up. I don't care. Whatever, right? Cause I'm from Brazil, Indiana, right? Tiny ass. Don't ask me how the hell I turned out the way I did. And I came from here, but. Tonight on the show is Marco Lesco, yeah, from Brazil. What's up, man? Brazil, Brazil. <laughs> Brazil, that, Brazil, that, yeah, real that, Brazil. That's, that's crazy, <laughs> yeah, like South America, Brazil, not Brazil, Indiana. Like, you know, can I say, when I was real young, man, I had the privilege of, like, taking some pretty elaborate trips, um, and one of them was on, like, this cruise ship, and I'll always remember being on this cruise ship, there were some people from, uh, like, the UK. I'm not exactly sure what part. I was fucking, I was 15, man. This shit's been 24 years ago. But I was like, yeah, I'm from Brazil. And they're like, you don't sound like you're from Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, wrong, wrong Brazil. Wrong, yeah, Indiana. And they were like, yeah, yeah. Did you think there was a town in the States called Brazil, man? I'm curious. If I think is is have a, a city, yeah, well, are you yeah, surprised? There, I think there's yeah. a city. Yeah, are you surprised there's a city called Brazil in Indiana? Yeah, yeah. I, I have no idea that uh, a city called Brazil in Indiana. I have n no clue about that. It's uh, it's it's, it's awesome to be honest because I, I think just Brazil. It's here, my country in the South America, and I have no idea about this that city. Um. I'm pretty sure they differ greatly, Marco, as, you know, Brazil is Brazil and then Brazil, Indiana is kind of a little, um, um, how do I put this nicely? Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's all I'm saying. But for the second time, Hardaway, we got a colorist online on here, right? I can't believe you described your hometown as if there were the family and judge dread that lived in the desert that ate people. <laughs> well, I mean, I was thinking more, um, what's that? Oh, it's a fucking old ass movie. It's an old movie, bro. Um, uh, yeah, you gotta give me more than just an old movie. I can yeah, get I don't know. Old there's, movie. Look, there's a very, there's a very, terrible rape scene where they're just like raping dudes and that's why he's like no 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 uh oh god somebody call me out in the comments and be like dude it's this you idiot because i'm absolutely positive there's somebody that knows out there but yeah i know whatever man it's a little uh, i'm not gonna lie the town i'm from i don't look like i should be from i don't act like i'm from it but that's totally besides the point man but like right off the bat let's just throw you under the bus hard away and see what you come up with. Because I love the fact that I'm like, I'm going to throw you under the bus. And initially you did that. And now you've just been coming up with random shit. And sometimes it's pretty damn funny. Sometimes it's just like, damn, dude, really? Good fucking question. Or no, let me change that. Good fucking question. <laughs> um, right. Uh, okay. Okay. This might not be a good question. It might be a horrible question, but out of all the crazy female serial killers in comic books and other media, which one 
would you not be a problem, but not have a problem being murked by? Which one would be like, you know, she decided to kill me, it wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> I don't know. I got like two. But <laughs> so. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna give a great answer to that question though. But I'm I'm not gonna fuck because oh, is it I gotta make sure I've got I, the name right. Uh yeah, yeah, okay, I did have the name right. I just didn't want to fuck it up because because uh Tom Seeley's a shit, or yeah, uh, Tim Seeley's a shit, right? But and I mean she technically wouldn't kill me because she only kills serial killers, but I'd totally let Cassie, yeah, uh fucking Cassie Hack kill me from Hack Slash. Yeah. I totally, I totally be that's fine. You know who that is, Margo? So I, I I don't know I don't know her. So You don't know the Hack Slash the comic books? Look. Hack slash, no, I, I did, I did not uh, read that. I, you ask me about the best serial killer woman in the they comic book? No, that would no. no which yeah. one would you let? Kill if you? they were to be like, I'm targeting you, you are going to die by this villain. Okay. Which, which villainess would you be like? You know what? Oh shit. Which villain? Uh, men or woman? Whatever. Woman. Women. Okay. Yeah. So, what, what, what woman are you going to be like, ooh, baby, you can kill me? <laughs> I think the the girl about that comics, uh, the the blonde one, uh, about the movie of the with Charlie's Theron. It's a... Um, I don't remember her name. Jesus. How can I forget? What's the name of the movie? Or comic book? It's a... Uh, something like a blonde something. I forgot the name. Oh, 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 fucking... It's not Atomic Blonde? Yeah, Atomic Blonde. The or Comic Blonde? Like... Yeah. Uh, yeah, or... Atomic Blonde. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, blonde, uh, is it? No, that's Blondie. No, Atomic Blonde. Yeah. Bro, if you can't Google that and, and pull it up. Uh, you say problem. Atomic Blunt? A yeah, blonde. Atomic blonde. That's, that's blonde. Oh, Blonde. Atomic Blonde. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Ah, okay. I feel you. You know, she she's a badass girl. Indeed. If I have to die, maybe it's by her hands. <laughs> it it won't be too bad. That's how I feel about poison ivy. I'm like, you know, I will feel real good before I go, like <laughs> real good. So <laughs> would it be too bad? I don't know. Okay. I really don't know. Well, well thank yeah. you, Hardaway, for a great question that leads right into the questionnaire. So obviously, you wouldn't let Halle Berry's Catwoman do it, huh? No. Yeah. <laughs> Catwoman is a good choice, but no, 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 no. A, I, hey, Marco, I said Halle Berry's Catwoman. Oh no, 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 no! It's so bad. It's, it's, it's. I, I don't know what the people have in mind when they create that movie. It's something. It's a the worst movie ever. You know. <laughs> um. I don't know that I was able to sit and watch all of that. In all honesty, I know it's, I, I honestly think it's one of the few films where I was like about halfway through. I was like, "This is fucking terrible." Yeah, yeah, it's, that's it. It's, yeah, it's it's so bad. I I really think, and it's funny. You were, and I love that you said that's the film you can't stand, and the worst comic book film as far as representation from the comic. And it amazes me looking at the, I mean, this is episode 31, by the way, I'm pretty positive. I might be one or two off on that for everybody watching. If, if I am, it says it in the fucking description, get off my back. Um, but in the 31 approximate episodes that we've done, we've never had that answer as far as for Catwoman for that question. And I think it's the right answer. <laughs> yeah. 
it's the worst adaptation of the comics this movie <laughs> it's a it's a, a completely mess the history has no no sense you know it's something like uh how can i say it's well i i, I think it's never exists for me this movie you know so it's just <laughs> it's a completely trash i don't know how how people can create something like that because Catwoman, it's a badass girl with uh, a good reason to do what she does. She she did. So they transform. They, they, they change her in, in so many ways to be a just a a trash girl. Like a doesn't doesn't matter what she do. He had no reasons to do what she do. And uh, the the villain is terrible. She's a a broken face woman with ah I don't know. It's just a it's a completely mess. I I, I really hate this movie. <laughs> I, look, Marco. I like I said I can't disagree with you. And like I said, sincerely, thinking about all the answers we've gotten on the questionnaire, even some that we haven't done the episodes yet for. I, I really think you have the correct answer. I don't think, like a lot of people have said Watchmen. I've had, I mean, there's been so many films named in that regard. I, It's gone all over the place. I'd literally have to start pulling out questionnaires to be able to uh, show you guys all that. Hey, here soon. We might be uh, to where everybody out there listening will be able to check out these questionnaires and see what the hell we're talking about when we're talking to the guests and what the answers are, but, you know. Well, we'll just say coming soon, maybe on that, but that's a whole other side note. Um, but but yeah, I, I I truly think that's the best answer as far as what did not live up to the comic. Now, to that end, Marco, what got you into comics, man? What what made you decide to get into the biz? Uh, well, first of all, it's not it's very simple because before working with comics. I do uh, market uh, materials for a uh, technology uh, business in Sao Paulo. So I'm work with Photoshop. Then I'm start um, uh, start drawing. I have a, a, a some some classes from drawing, and uh, they have a exposition in in the the school. So they they ask us to paint our jobs so i said i i have no idea how to, how could how could i paint my my job so they said we have a sector here uh, about uh, some colorists of comics they show you how to do and i saw well they work with photoshop so that so do i so i can do that you know so and I talking with the, the guys, they tell me we work by from from the home. We have no we can have a studio in my house. So this is attracted to me. Can I, I start you gonna I start uh, by myself? You're gonna say you got a studio yes, in your house, you're in your damn car, fucking instruction. But on another note, yeah, I gotta grab yeah, something. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta grab something real quick based on what you just said, Marco. All right. Because Marco said it's easy, right? Marco, Marco said it's easy. Um. All right, I I, I think you're crazy, Marco, because I a bit. wish like a motherfucker I could draw like this, right? Whoa! Like, are you serious? Shout out to I my cannot. Bruce. Yeah, shout out to Mike Bruce. <laughs> Check out the two previous episodes he's been on, as well as we're going to have him uh, coming up. What will be next week in our first round panel? We might change the name of that. I don't know. Me and Hardaway need to have a discussion. That's a whole other fucking story, though. Um, but yeah, this. Uh, you can also watch him draw this on a past episode for everybody watching. I love the let to the unknown factor. I fucking I love you, Mike. This shit is phenomenal, and will be framed soon. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, you're gonna say that's easy? Holy hell, dude! I don't even like in the whole Photoshop just adding colors that it drives me mad, dude. I don't. Yeah, but what is it in that point that keeps you in it then? 
Uh, I I don't know. It's just uh, something I honestly I'm 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 tired to work from someone. You know. <laughs> then I, know. I I decide to work, but to myself, and I think this is the best way to do. And I I have no idea how this works to be honest because I start as a flatter. You know Frank Martin, the colorist of Marvel Comics. I, it strikes a chord, man. Um, I don't know, but if you're listening, Frank, come on the show. Uh. Yeah, Frank, Frank is a friend of mine. We live in the same city now, and I when I when I when I began to to coloring, he helped me a lot because he he gave me a job as a flatter. I, I I separate the colors from from to him. So it's a it's a it's a bit a a complicated started. So when I decide to do that, I leave my my work. I have a uh, ten years in my my last work. So and I decide to focus all my my attention to coloring books. So then I I have to work by myself and stop to start to give another people money. <laughs> I need to to get money for myself. So that's why I that's that's my my focus and motivation to start my the coloring, you know. So then I this being uh so into uh I started in 2013 uh, to, uh <laughs> I, I'm terrible to in English to with date, but uh, it's, it's been like it's, ten years ago. It's cool, Mark. I'm terrible with dates. You period. can say 2013, 2013. Yeah, it don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm it's terrible. All, it's all good. Um, I, I told you my English is a work in progress, but it's terrible. Okay. Shit, his so, English but, is a work in progress. You ain't. You good? I'm just being honest. Hey, like, yo, hey, you are hey, absolutely fine. But the question, the real question is... No, 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 no. real quick, all... real quick. Hey, before you say that, at least I got his name right this time, fucker. But go ahead. Oh, yeah, let me tell you. You know, I ain't even gonna say nothing to you. Um, <laughs> Out of all of the works that you have done, which one was your favorite to color? Well, now I'm working in the... A book from to Europe will not uh, is not released yet. I can share. I cannot share something, but it's uh, Winter Queen. It's the name. Will be released in the next ne this year, and uh, I'm finished the two last chapter, and uh, it's my favorite. But uh, the one I worked it and uh, already published it. I really like it. Is Chariot. By AWA, you know, because I have a lot of things I like it, like um, alternative worlds, cars, action, and a good villain. And I I work in this title with my ex-wife, so it's a it's been a really cool because I can explore more the the effect about the. Did, did you read the? Did you wrote the the chariot? I no. I have not. Yeah, I have not either. Okay. You didn't chariot send it to me, man. You, you should have sent it to me, Margo. I'd have sped read yeah. it an hour before your interview. Oh, you did send it to me? You you colored this? Yeah. Chariot. Man, that is not wow. Not, not, not the covers, just the inside the the some the the inside colors, but I can explore, you know, something like uh, uh, Unreal World because the girl leaving the car, she have a, a parallel world, so the man uh, who restored the car have um have some connections with her. 
So sometimes he go inside her world and she can uh, can be a hologram out of outside the car. So it's so cool and I can explore some effect. I have no idea I can do it. So I really like to, to, to work on this, this project and will be a movie by Warner Brothers. So and uh, the director, I, I don't know. I don't remember if the director or the the writer will be the same of the Maverick, the movie of the the, the new Top Gun. So they, okay. that's the project. I really I really enjoy it to work. Um, no, okay. that's a, I, I'm 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 looking at some of the uh, the inner workings right now, and. We're gonna have to post those, bro. We're gonna have to show. Hey, I know. Well, look, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm totally paying attention. Um, I just realized. My apologies, Marco. I'm a dick, and like I said, this quest has been madness. And also, this interview was rescheduled because it honestly should have already probably released at this point. Have we done it when we originally scheduled it? Which is fine, Marco. I'm, I'm not worried about that. I just want to point out, like it's it's not a problem. I appreciate you coming on, and you know, handling everything. Um, but I fucking forgot those were there. What? Did he fucking email us all this shit? Yeah, you know, things happen, life and whatnot. I can just safely say that, holy fucking shit, we're going to post a, a bunch of the images up so people can see the your <laughs> coloring skill. Your oh, coloring skill. You, might, you might have to... You might have to let uh, tell me what I can and cannot post when I put up this interview, though, Marco. I don't want to yeah. get you. Oh, everything, in everything we everything we talk here, it's uh, totally no. open, and everything I send to you, I can I I can send you some pages or something like that with already published, it and you can share everything you want. No okay. problem. I just I, just uh just the project. It's uh incoming now. I can I can share, but. I will obviously I will not send you. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to make, look. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't putting pages of something on this interview because for everybody watching, I mean, if you're watching and not listening, if you're listening, shout out to listening. If you're watching, much love for uh, watching. But if you're watching, you know, in this corner, right, right down here on the other side of Marco, you're gonna see images of his work. Um, here, but yeah, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Um, that's why I asked though, because like, I'm pretty sure if I put local man up before the issue one drops, um, I'm pretty sure Tom would be pretty pissed at me. Uh, or no, I mean, uh, Tony would be pretty pissed at me. Uh, so would Tim Seeley. Like they would both be mad because like I was, I was able to check it out so we can conduct the interview and everything. But I just wanted to make sure I'm not going to end up doing that on your interview where it's like, oh, fuck. I just got Marco in trouble. <laughs> don't, don't let him get you in trouble. But we're uh, this is a question I have for you. Do you like doing the darker coloring of the comics? Or do you like the lighter colors when you do comics? Well, when I began, I, I have the tendency about to darker colors, you know? So, but my influences after the a few times will be animations like uh, Pixar animations or something like that. So I really enjoy to work in more colorful stuff. But I'm, I have to say, not I, I don't want to be, um, how can I say, stupid. But I'm I'm really good to work with darker colors like a uh, terror or something like that because i do that i did that for a long time <clears throat> i'm worked for zinescope and uh uh i began in zinescope that after that i go into dynamite so they using a lot of darker colors so i'm training a lot in darker colors but i i, I today i really enjoy to use more colorful uh stuff it's uh, it's better to me so to that nice. end man uh, um, a, 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 a. go ahead go ahead um, so do you uh have, i gotta go check on my daughter real quick but have you ever um 
mess with uh, your darker colors and put in like uh, neon highlights and certain things. Sorry. And whatnot. Have you ever messed with neon colors? Because in order to have neon pop out, you have to use darker tones in the background and whatnot. So have you ever have you ever messed with neons and whatnot? Because I see you did Blade Runner and whatnot. And I haven't had a chance to read any of those. Um, though I really want to. And I also saw you did Robotech, which is freaking has me like. <clears throat> but um but the thing is, is that um, Ro Robotech is one of the ones I started with. Like, you that made was, like, one stiff, like, Marco. Um, <laughs> like that, Macross Plus and whatnot. These are things that are just like in my heart. You know what I'm saying? But I got to go take my daughter. Okay. <laughs> but answer so his but question is he runs away. Okay. <laughs> So Blade Runner is a good uh, it's a good project. I'm I've been working then uh, a lot of time. Uh, I did uh, like a I don't know twenty five or twenty six issues. That's a good already. Run. Yeah. So Blade Runner is uh, I, I'm a huge fan of Blade Runner. You know. So I'm working all the the series by Titan Comics. Yeah. Uh, Blade Runner, Blade Runner Origins, Blade Runner, Black Lotus. I did all of them, all of it. It's a, I love that because I can mix exactly what he says. I can mix the darker colors with the, the colorful stuff because we have neons, we have uh, lots of lights and uh, the rain, the, the ambience. It's very cool. All I know is with what you just said, it makes me be like, you should color some Godzilla comics. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but hey, to that to that end, man, I'm curious, is there are there um are there any characters within the industry that you'd like to get a chance to put color to? Like, is there any character anywhere you look at and like man, I want remember. a chance to I want a chance yeah. to put my spin on it. I I'd like to work with uh, Shazam. And Chazza? uh, uh Chazza. yeah, Chazza. and I uh, I really enjoy it to work in Batman if I can, but I I have no choice I have no chance to work with Marvel Comics and DC Comics in in comic books. I just work with them in uh, child books. So I already paint Batman, but in a child books, and I which is a little different. Star Wars in the child books by Penguin Random House. So, but I, 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 I enjoy to, if I have a chance to work in, in Batman, Chasm, and uh, for Marvel in Wolverine, and uh, Spider Man. I, I enjoy a lot these characters because they have a lot of, um, I don't know, it's kind of. I, I love when they they mix the real world with the fantasy. So these characters have more of the real world, you know? So mm -hmm. like a Superman. Superman, it's totally unreal for me. It's a good character, but I like the, the created uh, heroes, not born heroes, you know? So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that, that that's what I I like it, and the uh, Green Arrow too. Also, I I like the Green Arrow. How did you? Can I say, man? I really like. I'll go. So. Um, look, I'm I'm gonna, and I'm sure I'm gonna get hate from somewhere on this, but for some, like with the Green Arrow, dude, I swear Kevin Smith has like is one of my favorite runs on the Green Arrow. The yeah, I I like too much the Green Arrow about the Auto Shimi too. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I don't know, man. I'm, I've just never been a big DC guy, to be real honest. As far as within my reading, um, hey, I'm not discouraging you all over there at DC not to come on the show. No, don't get me wrong, right? I will. I will read fucking comics to get you on here. Like, like if I need, like if somebody's coming on and I got to read a graphic novel or two, this DC, I'll do it. Um, but, I, I dug convergence. Huh? Sorry. The the this, the convergence series. From DC, it was pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that I, I I own that whole line. It was pretty good. 
You actually have something that our guest has done. I don't believe it, Hardaway. I do. You want me to pull it out? No, Hardaway. This is a, this is this show is not supposed to go X rated. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, it got way, way fucked up over here talking about Hardaway is going to pull it out. I feel like I need to end the interview now, but we've hardly got into anything. Uh, hey, but, hey, y'all nasty. <laughs> I mean, he was like, Marco was laughing his ass off about it. So, yeah, it wasn't just me. So, I appreciate you acknowledging that, Hardaway. Um, <laughs> but uh, I see, I mean, you say Batman, man, and I know that Batman Begins uh, is your favorite comic film. I just have to ask, based on those two things, um, what do you think of Batman's psyche? But what? What? Batman's, what Batman? Batman's psychological state of mind. He's totally crazy, to be honest. But I like him. <laughs> He's crazy. Tell me something. If Batman killed the Joker in the first match, okay? How many lives Batman saves? <laughs> um, I mean, I would assume at least a couple hundred. Yeah. Like, like minimum, least. minimum a yeah. couple hundred. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I, just, I just think it's funny because, and I don't know how many episodes I've brought that up on. You could probably check it. You, if y'all want to go watch all the episodes, I'm not complaining, but I know it's a topic that's been talked about with several different creators. Just the fact that, like, literally, Batman is the craziest superhero. Totally, totally. Yeah. I'm agree totally with you. And, and no one, no insane. one argues. He's so insane, like uh, the the Joker. They have the same insane, but uh, in the other sides, you know, in the opposite uh, opposite sides. But they both crazy. I, I just love the fact that literally every creator that we've spoken to, when you bring that up, they're like, oh, no, Batman's fucking nuts. But he's still, for yeah. some reason, one of the most popular characters. Even though, like, like look, I'm, I'm, Wolverine is more sane than Batman is. I'm sorry. Yeah. You have lost your shit. Fuck you. Marco no, just agreed with me. You yeah. hold, on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Did you no, say Wolverine? Wolverine. Wolverine is like a, a savage, but he's saying Batman is totally crazy. <laughs> oh, because... hold on, hold on, hold on. Has y'all read the Madripoor moments? Do not claim that there is a sane bone in Wolverine's body when that man has multiple <laughs> personalities himself. He walks around, he oh, my name's Logan. No, I'm Wolverine. No, I'm Patch. Man, come on now. Man, you miss me with all that. The boy, the boy's done lost his shit countless times. All right. But now, hold on. How many went look, you want to know how insane Wolverine is? He can't even pull a woman that isn't taken. Name one about- na- name a woman that wasn't supposed to be married to somebody else, married to somebody else, dating somebody else, the whole nine yards. Wolverine is a home. Record the boy is literally a sociopath when it comes to his wang. Yeah, it's true. But <laughs> how, old, how old Wolverine have? About three hundred years <laughs> to act a fool. Okay, okay. and Batman has okay. fifty years and he's more insane than Wolverine. <laughs> Wolverine has that totally seems to be crazy. Are you keep uh, losing? No, I keep going. We got we got another we got we got Hardaway's daughter trying to bust in on the show again. Yeah. <laughs> ask yeah, her, ask her if she wants to ask Marco something. He, he colors books for a living. Hardaway. Oh oh Dandy. This this man colors uh uh books for a living. Yeah. He does stuff like this. Hello. You want to say hi? <laughs> hi. Hi. Hello. It's your second appearance hi, on the questionnaire. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it's your daughter. Yeah. Uh, apparently, Hardaway's daughter is the new guest the host of the questionnaire. I'm getting ready to fire Hardaway. He just don't know it yet. <laughs> oh damn! Yeah, yeah, she's a better, she's a better host. <laughs> uh, uh, 
I do love how you phrase that, though, Mark. Okay. I, I just call her books. It's like, it's like, I mean, because that is technically what you do. But, like, imagine, like, just phrasing that on public. Have you ever said, like, I, I call her books to somebody, like, professionally and then just look at you weird? Yeah, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> because like, most, of the, most of the people do not understand what I do. So they ask me, and I said, Okay, I'm just coloring books. They said, like, uh, it's a, uh, what are you buying in the store? I think, no, no. They sent me a uh, script and uh, the line arts, and I have to follow this, the history, and I have to explain everything because they look at me and say, I have no idea what you're doing. I or what you do. I love the said, they were, so they're like, you just buy them books in the store and call yeah dude just like yeah man i literally buy coloring books in the store and i color them and that's how i make a living what in the hell is wrong with you i'm amazed they, my they think, sorry they think i i have a like a coloring book for child you know <laughs> i said no no it's not that it's totally different but that that what they have in mind when i said i coloring books See, and that's hilarious. Um, why don't you just say colorist out of curiosity? Uh, sometimes I said, but they they don't they, they don't understand. Here in Brazil, we have some some comic books for child. Uh, it's named uh, Turma da Monica, and uh, by Mauricio de Souza. Do you know what I, what is it? I do so, not know of that comic. No, I've I've. Oh my god. Marco, since I had started this show, I realized if I read every book that that I would like to read just from this show, I wouldn't have time to do this fucking show. Okay. <laughs> you know, like literally. Like, like, look, I'll, I'll be real honest with you right now. This is my read sack, and it's not all of it. You know what I mean? Wow. This is just, this is just like kind of what I'm currently in the middle of. And 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 I'm sure if I was to go around and look, like I don't even think, yeah, and crossed over volume one isn't even in here because it's sitting over there, right? So yeah, I I I, I, I have, yeah, I, I couldn't. I, I had to send you some a bunch of books to you read by my my with my colors. I and think Jesus, I, if you want to pay for the I shipping, can, dude, I'm down. But I don't want to know what it would cost to ship from Brazil to Brazil. Ah, uh, that is not a problem. No worry. Oh, I oh no. Yo. Revenge? What? Um, Inferred? Uh, hold on. This, this. Yeah, you turn the blur off, man. I don't know why. Like, your blur, like, fuck that blur. That blur is annoying. <laughs> I, I don't like everybody seeing my, my, my mess. My, because I craft in this room. Don't worry room. about like, the mess. I'm staying but, in the um, car, man. I'm inside the car and you are worried about the mess. <laughs> Yo, it's okay, Marco. In some of the earlier episodes, like this fool had to be in his car running away from fucking claw because we were having issues, but that's a whole nother yeah, issue. Yeah. <laughs> but but it is amazing to me that my my co-host has some comics done by our guests. That that's that's amazing. Hardaway, I'm proud of you. I'm proud what of you. Mean? Bro. The, I just, uh, it, it, no, no, I said I got, I said I'm from DC. Convergence is one of my, it was good. I liked it. It was one yeah. of my favorite lines, uh, storylines and whatnot. And you're like, I think this one, this one you, doesn't you, come to, from Brazil, to Brazil here yet. We have, a, we have a big delay here when the, the, the comics are released in the United States or Europe. A, we have a, like a, Two or three months of delay to, to came here from Brazil. Mm -hmm. They have to translate and reprint, and the, the quality is not the same. So every book I wrote, I, I read uh, about, uh, I read in English, and I buy by in the comicsology or something like that. Because mm -hmm. it's too, it's, uh, they, when they sent you here, uh, the quality is too bad. 
just some of the the books, the special ones, they print in the good quality. But uh, most of them is like uh, 80s comics, you know. So so they're printed yeah. on, on newspaper. It's like a newspaper. Um, huh? It's like a newspaper paper, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like comics from like the, I mean, from. I I'd say the sixties back really. Um, I'd say you even had, I think it was really in the nineties where they started that hard shift and got rid of it. I'd say the early nineties yeah. is when you seen the complete uh, dissolution of a newspaper. I fuck. I can't remember the next word that I'm looking for, but like a newspaper, uh, a newspaper paper you being used for comics. Yeah. I, I know I've got some around that are, that are that as far as that kind of paper. And it does, definitely decrease as far as um how the colors come through you know what i mean uh, at the same time i think it was stephen grant we were having this discussion with he said <clears throat> that if you did it like that it also makes it to where the comic is no longer five bucks a pop you know see, <clears throat> see i remember <laughs> when comics were 2.99 that yep. that's 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 the thing. I remember like because for instance, like Gotham Academy, two ninety nine. Man, you know what I'm saying? Like, comics were a buck fifty. What are you talking about? Shit. I got some of those old ones too. I got seventy five cent ones too. What are you no, doing? I mean, Hardaway, you got Hardaway just digging in his con or digging in his comic book collection to get me to shut up, Marco. He's like this asshole's acting like I ain't got fuck. <laughs> let me let me sit here and show this dick. All right, like annoying man. Yeah. So for one, you know, if you have never read Gotham Academy, Marco, like if you never touched it, it's good. It's it's legit good. Like I, it's it's one of my favorite stories that uh, DC put out. Um, it was in the New Fifty Two and whatnot. Um, yeah, I'm as, actually, as Tom would I'm say, I'm only missing two issues to complete the entire series. And one not which is which is annoying because I can't find them. <laughs> um, um, you, this is I, why you no, need no, 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 real. I ordered one of them, and the month didn't come in the mail ever, ever. That pissed me well, off. Well, look, man. look. As far as what you said about the new Fifty Two, though, you're just proving Tom Bovard's point as far as um, DC resets its universe in its entirety too much. But that's neither here nor there, man. Um, God damn it, Hardaway, you rambled on so long. I forgot the question I had, and I swear to God it was good. There you go. It comes back to me. I just had to ramble a little myself. Short of the fact that um, things are printed later there in Brazil, well, what's the difference, man, as far as the market there, as opposed to, say, the market in the UK or the US or Canada? Yeah, here we have uh, only, basically, only one publish is the Turma da Monica, as I said to you. So uh, the other books we have here, it's basi basically uh, released by crowdfunding. The market mm -hmm. here is really bad from the comics. We have a lot of, uh, impo uh, I don't know, the, the most of the comic books we, 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 we buy here is from US or UK or Canada or something like that. They, but the the real, the real stuff here is from uh, Mauricio de Souza. They, the, the, this is the man where he starts the, some some novels for more mat mature people. But uh, he's like a, he have the monopoly of the, the market basically. So it's just from child books or the, I don't know. Uh, I don't know the age exactly from the EM MSP. The maybe from sixteen years old or to more. So but I think the that was more. Yeah, I think it's really either bad. thirteen or sixteen. I'm honestly not quite sure. I don't pay attention to ratings. I read what I want. Do yeah. You, I mean, why the hell would but, I? You see the gray in this shit. But you know, it's all the same <laughs> characters they use on this but uh uh we have no no a uh, big market from comic books in brazil not uh, they we have a, a, a lot of good stuff but all all of them it's releasing by crowdfunding you know 
So it's most of the we, me and um, Luke Ross. You know who is Luke Ross? It's an artist from Marvel Comics. I so I got a question. Oh, wait, is what your Ross? Wait, Luke Ross. Yeah, he's got his flashes on so he don't die while he sits on the side of the road and conducts this interview. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, Pay Luke attention Ross to what's going on. I, yeah, Luke Ross and I, we we join forces to with a writer here in Brazil and we release a comic book here by crowdfunding. So... Uh, it's name is Alice uh, above the wall. So it's something like a, a history about a girl who have she who have uh, her family split off when she tried to run away about uh, some kind of crazy people, and uh, he go back to another world like uh, they stopped in the 80s so she tried to found uh, her brother who she lost and the when she and her family run away from this 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 city so basically the city is split in two parts one and the now uh, like uh, the real world and the other stops in the 80s so it's a cool it's cool and uh we have uh we made a crowdfunding to to release this book and now we work in the second chapter and see how it's going but uh, we, we win an award here in brazil with this book so it's a, it's a, it's a kind of we we join the forces to make the market stronger you know but it's not easy because we have a bigger man monopoly the the market now. Well, let me ask you uh, in that, Marco. Firstly, congrats for the award that you won for that book, man. Um, but why do you think it is that it it seems to be the U.S. has way more comic companies than anywhere else? Yeah, and I mean definitely all the big ones. I mean because the three biggest comic book companies around are DC, Marvel, and Image, you know, and they're all based in the U.S. And, I mean, hell, Image only exists because a bunch of creators looked at Marvel and went, was sick of your shit, and then they walked away. Yeah. So, yeah, that's crazy. But we have a lot of another companies that start with comics in Canada and U.K. too. But uh, oh, yeah. Europe has uh, a different policy from comic books because they just uh, released the trend, uh, the, the whole story in one book. I don't know exactly. Uh, graphic novel. How, yeah, but it's it's weird because every people ask me why you do not move to US <laughs> once you work from them. And I say it's not so easy. <laughs> well, no, not even that, Marco. I think it's funny though because, as I just said, it's you know, I mean, most of the major publishers are, um, are in the U.S. Right? I mean, there are definitely some bigger ones in the U.K. There's some bigger ones in Canada, but if if you're looking at the top publishers, I I don't know how long it would take you until you got to one that was out of the United States. I'm pretty sure you would definitely go below the number five, though, before you did. It, I would assume it would probably be uh, 1000 AD. I swear if I'm fucking up the goddamn name of that label, I'm going to fucking be so pissed at myself. The one with Judge Dredd, I'm about to reach up and grab a comic book to make sure. Right? Yeah. 1000 AD, right? No, I'm fucking that up. I'm fucking it up. God damn it. I don't remember exactly. Are you whore? Why is it not on that one? Fine, it's on this one. Fuck you. Oh, I'm going to be... Wait, what? What? No, maybe it's 10,000 AD. What? Son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, 10,000 AD. I was trying to take a zero off. I don't know why. Yeah, see? <laughs> 10,000 AD. Oh, um, right. Okay. 
But uh, I love this character, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love some dread, man. I think I honestly like Ennis's work within it more than anything else. But that's probably because I'm partial to the man because I think he's a little, you know. Leo. Uh, I, I I mean, have you read Crossed? <laughs> a little crazy. Yeah, but have you, you read think? Crossed? No, Crossed. No. Oh, oh yeah, but just uh, just the first, this just the first issue. Yeah, yeah, that's insane. That's, that's look, uh, I, I don't know if I've ever said this on the show before. I think I may have, but like I love Garth Ennis's work. They've done a lot of it in film and television, obviously, The Boys, Preacher. I mean, you could go on and on as far as the things that he's done. But as far as authors and comic books, he's one of the guys that they draw from his work a lot for TV. Um, I really hope they never do Crossed. I don't ever want to see any other version of that. If you want to go experience Crossed, do me a favor. Read the fucking comic book. Don't option it for shit. All right. I don't want to see it animated. I definitely don't want to see that shit live action. Are you fucking kidding me? But it's it's worth a read. I will say that. Why why would why, why wouldn't you want it animated? Though? Um, you know, I'm just. Gonna... Hey Marco, would you want to watch that in an animated film form? I don't know. Did it's... you see Marco? Did you see Marco's answer, Hardaway? Did you know how he's like? I, I don't know. And you only read Crossed if you won. I read the too book. hard to, to, to transform in everything. I think. Hmm. Crossed is uh, too heavy to turn I, in I, every I other media. I think. <laughs> I think you're being a little nice, man. I think that's proof that you've only read the first issue, because I've read the first several graphic novels within that series. Um. It gets way worse past issue one, Marco. And note that I didn't say it gets a little worse. I said it gets way worse past issue one. Like, like, yeah, no, that should never be turned into any other kind of medium. And I love you, Garth. I hope we have you on the show. It'll be a pleasure to have you join us on this quest, man. But, um, but, but yeah. I never want to see that particular piece of his work in anything but the comic. And I honestly don't think I'd honestly even reread the comic, even though, again, it was phenomenal. It's very much an interesting perspective as far as the human psyche, I think. And if you took away everything that makes us human and left us with our basis needs, what would probably happen? Um, which I don't think terrifying. you've watched Berserk then, have you? Dude, um, I have. It's been a while, and no, dude, it ain't. And, and, and no, I'm, I'm telling you, this. Go fucking read Cross Hardaway, and we can have a conversation about it. What we're talking about, yeah. What we're talking about, AI art. Well, look, if you read Cross Hardaway, that way at least you can have that to talk about during the AI roundtable, so you ain't just pissing everybody off. So, to that end, Marco, what do you think of this whole AI art debacle? Sorry. The AI art debacle that's going around. AI art. Yeah, AI, AI art. AI art. Artificial intelligent art. Um, oh, I think it's a a great. Uh, I don't know. I I have a discussion about with my with a a friend of mine this week about this this shit. <laughs> you know how I <laughs> I react about that. And I think uh, it's kind of limited for now. And uh, it's good what they did, what I did, what they did. But I don't think it will be a great problem because everything looks the same. You know, everything looks like, um, I don't know, too real. And uh, everything I see about the this art about the artificial intelligence is kind of limited now. I think in five or ten years, maybe they can have some evolution about that. But I don't see that like a problem with the art from the for the artists because I don't see how can I say I don't see emotion on that, you know. That's something just humans can do it. We have to, we, we need to have a, like, a, I don't know, a really thinking machine to do what the human's doing. Okay. And to uh, that end, 
to that end, Marco, once it gets to the point to where it can recreate emotions in art, doesn't that mean we get Skynet next or the Matrix yeah. or yeah, or yeah. your fucking bullshit? I, I think I don't know. I I I have a I kind of uh I, I'm kind of afraid about that. That's why I try I treat my Alexa like a uh, a good person, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I ask for a favor. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he loves me. If you, they have the, I don't know, just just trying to be a nice with the machines, not be <laughs> bad. Uh, maybe right. they, maybe it's All a right. safe place to go. I don't know. I actually have a theory on why people are afraid of AI and afraid of um, technology taking over the their jobs and stuff like that and more so than anything the reason why most people have a problem with ai is because they're afraid of like he said skynet they're going to think something and get all crazy and start taking over everybody turn them into batteries like the matrix here's the thing though the only reason why you would think that is if you're a dick <laughs> like not not trying to sound mean or anything like that, but if you're an asshole, of course you'll think that way because the first thought in your mind is when it comes to an object or something you think that's lesser than you, which is a machine, is yeah. to use it. Yeah. Now, what happens when a being that can think just like you starts getting used over and over and over again? It's going to rebel. See, the thing is, is most of humanity can't get their own heads out their bums to go, hey, if we create any form of life, we're going to have to be on our P's and Q's. Because here's the thing. Any form of life, even your own child, you got to act right. Because nowadays, children are killing their parents. You have to act right. That's what all these bad things that keep happening and whatnot is telling us to act right. Because we're not acting right, all this shit keeps happening, so on and so forth. We read it in comics. We see it in anime. We watch it in movies. Like, it's literally fed to us all the time to act right or bad shit's going to happen. None of us truly want to. Because when you act right, you don't get to the top. That's yeah. what they show us as well. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't really think it's going to be a Skynet or anything of the sort because when it's all said and done, they're going to end up. Humans will destroy everything, absolutely everything, before we go bye bye. So yeah. I highly doubt the AI is going to stop us. Even with sticks and stones, we will find a way to destroy absolutely everything. So I won't really worry about the AI taking over on that standpoint. And I. Yeah. When it comes to the art and the emotion standpoint and stuff like that, I think that's in the eye of the beholder. Art will always be in the eye of the beholder, just like beauty. All right, well, because for everybody, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, Hardaway, but for everybody that's really wanting to get in depth in this episode, make sure you check out next week's episode of The Questionnaire, where we're going to have several individuals that Hardaway is just going to piss off. That's gonna be yep. the, that's gonna be the whole that's gonna be the whole theme of the show. This is the first round panel where Hardaway pisses off everyone because we're talking about AI art and everyone fucking on there is is artists <laughs> that work in the comic book industry. So it'll be the whole time just like like shit. You think your personal superpower is annoying people, Marco? You wait till like watch the watch the episode that drops the week after your episode drops. I'm telling you right now, he's gonna annoy every. Everyone in the room. Everyone. My superpower like, is to go, piss everybody off with yeah, facts and truth. Yeah. Dominic's, Dominic's um, going to be mad. Mike's going to be mad. Don't make, dude, look, 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 look. You can't make Mike that mad, bro. He sent me this. Come on. Like, you can't I'm make not, Mike that and, mad. And I like Mike. Mike's awesome. He's an awesome dude. Gonna get Thanks for being off on the show, you. Mike. Gonna piss for off real. And but, but man, are they going to get mad over that AI stuff? Um. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Sorry, everything is is kind of mess here in my car. Oh no, you're it, it's all good. Um, hey, hey, wait, wait! This is not a calendar man attack, is it? Uh, okay, I'm. I'm is, out it, is it a special holiday today? 
Is your anniversary? Well, what? He said it's not a, cal- a calendar man attack, is it? Because you know the most ridiculous shit happens when calendar man comes. <laughs> <into> the- <laughs> Look, um, hell, I'll be real uh, honest. Marco filled this questionnaire out so damn long ago. He probably didn't even remember half the answers he answered. He probably don't. No, um, but no, on this whole the the um uh, AI thing and whatnot. Everybody, you should come check out that episode. Like you said, um, it's going to be intense. But how I see it is, is this: I don't think AI, in any standpoint, no matter how advanced as it gets, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. is ever going to completely eradicate human artists. Um, for instance, everybody thought, for the love of God, that when you got the late machine when that came out all the hand carver workers were going to lose all their jobs and they were not going to be able to make ends meet but in reality all it did was is make that skill rare more valuable and now every time someone puts out something that's hand made literally hand carved and made it's no longer 20 30 dollars you're looking at the two three four five hundred dollars and people will pay it yeah all right So when you're looking at it as, oh, they're going to take from me, take from me. No, it's only going to benefit you because now your skill set is even more rare. That means the thing. Yeah, kind of like some dragons, man. Dragons is rare as hell. But how are you going to tell me you don't know the supernatural creature that scares you the most, Marco? What kind of Uh, shit answer is that? What kind of what? What Sorry? kind of supernatural creature scares you the most? You said, I don't know. What the hell, well, Marco? I, I don't know because I don't know. I, I don't have a. I don't, I, I, I don't fear anything of supernatural stuff because I, I'm not a religious guy and I think it's just kind of. I don't know. To me, it's like uh, everything is kind of fantasy, you know. <laughs> so that's why I, I don't have, I, I don't have anything. I scares me a lot. Maybe I don't know. People scares me sometimes. Not supernatural stuff. So I just I like doing this to uh, people, and I like doing this to guests and whatnot in general. Um. When it comes to supernatural creatures, do you not believe they're in existence? No. Nah. Okay. All right. Now check this out. I want you to really think about this. Okay. Okay. Throughout history and all writings and whatnot, it, if you're a monster, you're over num- You're outnumbered from off jump. It doesn't matter if you're a werewolf, vampire, mommy. It doesn't matter what supernatural creature you are you are outnumbered by far thousands to one all right at that point in time it doesn't matter how strong or how much magic you have when a thousand people are coming at you you're gonna die all right now now wait 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 wait. now just to negate the point you just made hardaway i'm pretty sure if a thousand people came and say dr strange or superman they're just going to be moderately annoyed. No, one of them's getting sh- Superman's getting shot with a kryptonite bullet. He's going down. All right, if we if we are coming to take Superman okay. out, that nigga's dead. If we are coming for Doctor Manhattan, Doctor Strange, it don't matter who it is. We are going to find a way, and we're going to hunt them down. We're going to kill them. All right, I, 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 hunters I don't, don't go around. Yeah. For instance, if you're hunting a vampire, you're not going to go hunt a vampire with a uh, with an iron stake. You know what I'm saying? You're like, I want to go with an iron sword. <laughs> no, you're going to run with garlic, no, silver, have, hey, water, hey, hey. the whole nine yards. You're going to arm yourself properly. Have you seen Blade? You can use silver, too. Yeah, I mean, of course. But the whole point is this. If you are any of those supernatural creatures, you're going to keep your shit on the low. All right? Now, for instance, for vampires, why would you think that they don't own Big Pharma? And have money in every hospital. People die every day. They don't have to eat a healthy living person. You know what I'm saying? They could be a dying living person. So with that being said, who's to say that they're not there? 
you're not in every spot in every rainforest and every forest in the world. So we don't know if there's a Wendigo, Bigfoot, werewolf, so on and so forth. All right. The first, uh, uh, what was it? X file was about a werewolf. Yeah. Uh, who, Hoover kill, uh, supposedly killed a werewolf. Now, mind you, you have 30, 40 agents all agreeing in the testing that a beast runs into a house. We shoot the house. We go inside the house and there's a naked man dead full of holes. No other beast, no breaking ins or anything like that. We saw a hairy being go in there. There's no furs or nothing. They run into the house and shoot it. And there's a naked man in there. So the, what I, my point is, is this, is that supernatural beings probably don't want to deal with our ass because we're crazy. Oh, e- even the ones that have, hold on, even the ones that are extremely crazy, like like poltergeists and whatnot, you hear about those very rarely. They happen, and they even have science to prove that the shit keeps crazily happening. You just gotta, is it, sci- you know what I'm saying? It's like, do you believe in gravity? It's still a theory, you know what I'm saying? But it's a practical theory. So, what I'm getting at is, all these supernatural creatures and all this shit, and one that people aren't afraid of very well could exist, but they probably keep their numbers and everything down to a very minimal. All right. We can discuss. All right. All right. All right. Hey. Look, Hardaway, do me a favor. Take your hat off real quick. All right. Oh, man, your shit ain't smooth shaved. I was talking about no. you. No. You think no. Damn it. You think the vampires can just uh, hunting criminals you, or something like that? I think you, I think you be way too wasteful thinking. People disappear in prisons all the time, and then they start start voting forty years later. If I if I if I I'll be a, a vampire, I probably just hunting the bad guys, so nobody cares about the missing. So <laughs> there's missing I, people that go gone. Think. With no reason. But but you know this is kind of of weird. You think is like a, a failure on in my in Matrix. <laughs> you know that's they report in the movies. The this supernatural stuff is so unreal when you think because I don't know just a bunch of guys drinking blood or something like a turning wolves or something like that. It's, I don't know. It's, it's something like ghosts. It's wild. Think about ghosts. Ghosts can be uh, just a reflection on something like a light stuff or something like that. And uh, people say, oh, it's a supernatural. But no, it's just a, a bunch of camera now, tricks or okay. light tricks. Now, Marco, in the, in the ilk of things of an otherworldly sort that are there, but not really there, and you can sometimes catch their presence. I have to be annoying, because we're going to figure out who's got the most annoying, who's the most annoying here with that superpower, for real. I don't, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's Hardaway, me, or Marco. Marco said it was his personal superpower. We're going to figure that out before this is all said and done. I have to agree that there is something there. Um, I say that from personal experiences where I was out in the fucking woods and I seen a full blown apparition. I'm not talking like it was a little glint of light. I'm talking like it was a full, uh, like it was a full, you could see the dude. He was there, but I could see through his ass and he's holding a lantern and, and it's out in the middle of the fucking country where ain't nobody taking the time to do all that bullshit because he's like, like if 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 it was somebody just taking the time to do all that bullshit, one I I don't know how he had the technology to present what I saw that night because I it was a long long time ago, you know, um and I mean I could it's like I could see it but I could see behind the motherfucker too, you know, um <laughs> as well as other personal experiences I've had that are a lot we won't get into all that. So in that regard, I have to agree. Now, as far as fucking werewolves and vampires, uh, I think that may make Hardaway the most annoying motherfucker in the room. I think you might have been wrong. I was 
I was going to say something because I thought his head was going to be all nice and shaved because sometimes it is, but he fucked my shit up. He fucked my whole bit up having fucking hair on his head. What the fuck, Hardaway? Yeah, that's what you get for thinking and planning and just, instead of doing. Here's the thing. Okay, firstly, I didn't know that was going to happen in the span of the conversation, asshole. All right, but, but hold on. Here's the yeah. thing, though. I will never experience all the things that Marco experiences. Marco will never experience all the things that you have experienced, all right? Yeah. We cannot claim that anything in this world does not exist because every time someone does, a motherfucker does it. All right. Or fine. Well, in that case, right. I don't so, believe... Oh, sorry. I just don't believe, Marco, that there's no part of your job you don't that doesn't just annoy you. Dealing with us. Um... <laughs> uh, I think is the it took a lot of time, you know. So for me, time is living. So doing my job take me a lot of time uh, doing it because I'm I appreciate the quality of the, my work. So that took me a lot of time to find a way to make the things work. And I, I think this is the annoying part of my job. I love my job. What, us? But... Sorry? I said, you said, you think this is the annoying part of your job. I said, what, us? <laughs> no, no. My, my, my annoying is, uh, it's, it's, it's be just because, because it took a lot of time. And uh, I think life is, life is short. So we work too much, you know, to make the... <laughs> I don't know the happiness of a bunch of guys, and I uh, I think sometimes we have no, we have not the the value we have we 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 have to do. So that's I think is the part more annoying. But I I cannot complain about that too much because I, I I'm working with uh, a lot of good people, you know. So they appreciate a lot of my job, and I they they have the. The, the real value about my time I'm, I'm wasting doing what I do so that's that's what I think it's the worst part of the job but I I don't think it, it's something to be honest when, when I start I, I hate to paint some cars and ships and something like that but I I learned to love it so I think I do it too much, and uh, we learn to love it some some things, you know. And I, I I totally agree with you though, as far as the time, because I know for a fact I pressed my I touched my phone at one point and and fucking did something, and it's gonna make this whole goddamn fucking interview a, a touch more pain in the ass to edit than they typically are. Whatever, it's fine. But and and you know, it's just a lot of time as far as to make sure. This shit looks proper as far as what y'all are seeing out there and watching. Much love for watching. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe and all that shit, man. Or I don't know, notify, notify, I guess, on Spotify or whatever the fuck it is on Audible. I'm not even sure. Um, whatever. Um, <laughs> but but it is as far as being able to deal with some great people. You know what I mean? Because I, I know we're in the span of doing this show and how I, I'm pretty sure this is episode 31. We have had the pleasure of dealing with a number of individuals who just are are just really seem like fine individuals, you know what I mean? Where um I won't say that I will offend a whole lot of other motherfuckers and some other shit I do that is that is not comic book related in any way, so it wouldn't affect this show. But it may have it to where I go perform a show, uh, you know, doing doing that hip hop shit and I gotta shove a mic down somebody's throat. So I'm just not gonna say the next line that was about to come out of my mouth, Marco, because... Stop dude. being a fool. Huh? Stop being a fool. I ain't the <laughs> fool. The fool was a... I don't know. Right back to what we were talking about. Um, He's a ghost, I think. <laughs> it's just yeah, a voice. Whatever. He has it's no idea a how much... He... Voice. This motherfucker has no idea how much he set up a line that I just could have been like... And been like, yeah, yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to shove a mic down somebody's throat. Um, 
The fuck did you go, Hardaway? Oh, yeah. Y'all fucked up and accidentally, like, y'all, you kept saying shit about me not reading comics and whatnot. And I was like, hold on. Hey, send me that. My bad. Excuse I'll, I'll me. Take, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. No, you can't have it. Fuck off, man. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> That's, hey, my, no, that's, no. that's one of my most special ones right there, bro. That's number one of Death of Wolverine. With the Deadpool cover. cover. I, I seen, Deadpool I seen, man. I seen, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, you want Donut Hole, though? Huh? Thank you. <laughs> you want Donut Hole? If you, what, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Jesus, what was the fuck the character's name? Fuck, bro, we've done too many of these shows. Come on, help me out. You can only give that to me if you were, um... We just did that interview. Oh, my God. Okay, I I have company here. I street dog here. All right, he was... Uh, hell yeah, man, we love animals. Uh, But you ain't gonna say who it was, asshole, or way? Like, what the hell? I don't remember. But you're gonna give me... Look, you're a fucking dick, Hardaway. And, Marco, it's been a fucking pleasure. You got a street dog coming up? You want to introduce him? Yeah. I don't know. There is. What's up, Puppy? <laughs> we love puppies. He found that good spot to scratch. That is very. Yeah. That is the first street dog we've had on the show, though. But over here at the questionnaire, animals are always welcome. Yeah. But, um, Hardaway, you got anything good left? Um, Real quick. If you can have anybody do your theme music to your life, Ooh. who would that be? Or what if style I, would it be? It's Brazilian uh, funk. No. Don't make them mad. I hate Brazilian funk. I hate it. <laughs> it's a, I, I love rock and roll, you know? I, I using rings with schools and something like that because I just love the rock and roll and I love Metallica, to be honest. Okay, so, so you have to tell you, you know, the, the theme songs to your life. <laughs> I, yeah. can dig it. I can definitely dig it. Oh, All God. right. What happened? Hey, Marco, it's been a pleasure, man. I, I hope everybody watching, make sure you check the links in the description. You, just look at Marco, you can look at more of Marco's works, you know, go about getting some of it. Uh, if you've enjoyed the art that you've seen during the entirety of the show, if you were watching, if you were listening, still, go click the links, man. Check some shit out. Right, uh, Marco. Before we go, man, can I get you to go? Yo, this is Marco Blasco. Uh, make sure you check out the questionnaire. And I, dude, you know, at the point, I don't even like. It was supposed to come out. Like I fucked up, and it didn't come out. It, it's whatever. Hardaway, what, what are you floating a heart around for? So <laughs> I have it's to something say, my sorry. daughter made and shit. And oh yeah, I have oh, to say so. sorry to the audience about my bad english but i i swear i will improve that and i it's been an honor to participate with you guys you guys hey, are man. awesome it's but and, no, no, no. Uh, yeah just uh say so, yeah this is marco let's go make sure you're checking out the questionnaire whenever it drops that works <laughs> that's fun guys that's cool oh you no know? no we're asking you to say that Ah, okay. This is Marco. Yeah, Lesko. so to introduce yourself and then say you're watching the questionnaire. Okay. So this is Marco Lesko. Please check about the questionnaire in the link below. That's that's it. The link is yep. below. Or upload. Or where where's the link? Whatever. <laughs> there will definitely there will definitely be Perfect links. Sound bite. If I if I ever if I ever get the time to edit all the dope ass drops that I've got and because I still got it. I got and fuck you, Hardaway. I don't just want more shit to edit. I swear on my life, I'll fucking throw something. at you. I'll have a ghost throw something at you, right? But ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I just want to let you know if you've enjoyed this interview with Marco, right? What you can do is you can either one send him a real, real, real good burger, just a, just a real, real, real good hamburger, right? Or uh, some Saint Seiya action figures, yeah. Like just a whole collection of Saint Seiya action figures. Now, if you haven't enjoyed, and I also wanted to ask one more question. This is a PS question. Okay. Who's your favorite? Sure. Which one's your favorite zodiac? Which one's your favorite constellation? 
Oh, sh yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the 12 ones? The, the 12 ones, or you can go to the lesser houses like with Pegasus and shit. Yeah, I I I don't know, but I, it's a it's a hard question because I never think about that. I think <laughs> maybe I I like my one zodiac. Uh it's a it's a Pisces, you know. So Pisces. Oh, yeah. So that's my zodiac. So I like that. Fair enough, fair enough. That was a good I've one. I've never watched it. Hardaway, stop interrupting. We're not doing this shit like Erica did her fucking outro to where I did the outro <laughs> and then 45 fucking minutes later, the goddamn interview ended. Even though, yo, check it out. I don't know what she was talking about, sewer chickens, but check out part two and you can find out all about it, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes bidets are scary, apparently, but that's neither here nor there because if you did not like this interview and for some reason, Marco... Just annoy the crap out of you, which is apparently his personal superpower, right? You can either send him some real abstract shapes just that are all light yellow and make them attack him. And, you know, either that or just uh, apparently. And how the fuck are you going to hate Brazilian food? You're from Brazil. What the fuck? Brazil funk? Brazilian it's food. Terrible. Is that I got to do it. Is that you don't They're like really the, the rhythm is bad. The 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 leather is bad. Everything is just uh, bullshit <laughs> about uh, degrees, women's, and uh, turning everything into right. objects. I I don't like that. All right. Well, well, well. Fuck that. Then what I want you to do is I want you to send him just just a huge speaker system that he can't turn off that is blaring Brazilian funk. Wherever he is, like one of those, you know, clouds that would just float above the depressed motherfucker and just rain on him. Do that, except with speakers and Brazilian funk. Yeah, that's how it's going to happen if you didn't like this interview, if you can will that into existence. Because this is the quest that is the questionnaire, ladies and gentlemen. I am the unknown factor. And I'm J.D. Day Hardaway. Yeah, this has been, I'm pretty sure, episode 31. I might be wrong. Yeah. With Marco Lesko. Make sure you like, subscribe, click that bell. Click all the motherfucking links in the descriptions and check out everything, man. You can look way more into Marco's work if you've been able to check it out when you were watching the videos. You know that shit was dope. Don't lie and give this shit a thumbs up. And, 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 and real talk, please, for the love of God, send me a first print of the Gotham Academy second semester issue 12. Like, I need to finish that fucking series. It's pissing me off. <laughs> Have a good night, y'all. Peace. Yeah. Peace.